Hi everyone, if you're new here to the channel, my name is Ovi, I'm a first year medical student, and welcome to Ovi Med. Alright, so first things first, I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. This video is going to be coming out on December 26th, so um, yeah, just Merry Christmas, and I hope you all have a good time during the holidays. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about five things I did not expect at medical school and that I just wasn't aware of until I started medical school. So just for a bit of context here, I just finished my first semester at Trinity College Dublin in Ireland. And I've made a video about how on my first semester went, what kind of courses I had and everything. So you can go right here and check it out if you want to. All right, so without further ado, let's start with number one. All right, so I didn't expect to have seen so much stuff beforehand during my undergrad. So as mentioned in my previous video, I really didn't expect my undergrad to be so useful. I did my undergrad in biomedical sciences here at the University of Montreal. And honestly, most of the things that we've seen during my first semester of medical school, I've seen everything before and even in more detail, except for anatomy. But let's say you've done an undergrad in like physiotherapy or something like that, then I would assume that you have seen the majority of the material in your first semester. So with that being said, I really didn't expect um, to be like so prepared, let's say in a way, for medical school because I really expected to be like overwhelmed with like all the new material and things but in reality um, doing a bachelor's degree in a science background was extremely helpful and I only realized this once I started medical school. I've seen a few of my friends who are already in medical school telling me about some courses that I was doing um, at the same time, you know, like in parallel and we're seeing kind of the same stuff except that I was seeing more like the research fundamental side of things like molecular biology and stuff whereas they were more focusing on the clinical aspects of like the clinical relevance of what they were learning and this is a bit what I'm doing now. So by having done all this molecular stuff and in so much more detail, I can have a much better understanding of this clinical stuff. So it's just a much stronger base. And this is uh, not only my personal experience, but I've talked with a few of my friends who also have a science background and it was just really helpful in general. All right, so moving on to number two of the things I did not expect at medical school. I didn't expect to have so much free time slash flexibility. All my lectures in undergrad were like three hours. Our labs were like three, sometimes six, or even eight hour long labs. Here, everything, literally everything is one hour or one hour and a half at most. So in terms of like time restraint or time that you have to be present in person in school or this year online, obviously, uh, is really different. So you can manage your time differently. Uh, of course, it comes with higher responsibility, you know, since you have so much online stuff, you can just do them whenever you feel like it. You can do them when you feel ready. Like for example, some people just can do lectures in the morning. So uh, they would do them in the afternoon if they're recorded. And that's just really nice. You know, you have this flexibility that I've just never had before, but I'm not sure if this is due to COVID or if it's just uh, the way the university works. So I guess I can answer that question in a year or two when everything's gonna go back to normal, hopefully. So yeah. At number three, we have differences in the grading system and the stress revolving around examinations and tests. So what do I mean about that? Well, first of all, the grading system here uh, at Trinity College Dublin is not pass or fail. In some courses it is, but in others, it's not. So we have a different grading system in which you have first class honors, which is when you have above 70% in all your courses. Then you have second class, which is above 60. Then you have a pass, which is above 50. And then if you're below 50, it's a fail. So in terms of grading system, it's extremely different because on your transcript, you're gonna have the grade. And then besides that, you're gonna get either passed second class honors or first class honors. So it's a bit different. So it's kind of rare to see grades above 80, if not like extremely, extremely rare, uh, because the grading is, uh, you know, very harsh, let's say, in a way. And that leads me to my second point. The exams are different, but I'm gonna talk about that in my next point. So what about stress exactly revolving around examinations and tests? Well, it's not 
the same kind of stress that you had in undergrad. Because in undergrad, you had to perform, you had to do uh, everything you can to get the best grade possible in order to get into medical school. You weren't studying always for your own pleasure. Sometimes we're studying only to get the best grade possible. And let's not lie, it's true, it does happen. But here in medical school, uh, it's different. I'm not really all that stressed around exams anymore because I know that in order to graduate, I only need to pass. And that these grades that I'm having right now don't really matter in residency or I'm applying later. Things that matter is like my clinical year rotations, letter of recommendations, my USMLEs, my uh, Canadian boards and stuff like that. So um, the stress is different in a way. Um, there's more material, that's for sure, and a shorter period of time to learn. But yeah, it's just, it's just different. All right, so now moving on to point number four of things that I didn't expect at medical school. So you need to find new study methods. Your old methods that you thought were like really good and worked really well, well, they're not gonna work in medical school and that's normal. You need to readjust for every single module, every single course, every single lecture even, that you get on some like new material that you've never seen before. And so something that really influences that is uh, the type of questions that you get. Um, this is something that never expected really we're gonna have essay questions on our exams which are in general if you remember so in these essay questions um, basically the question is gonna be like talk to us about glucose regulation and the body so you don't really know where to start you don't get asked for specific details you have to show the professor that you know the material so we're gonna talk about gluconeogenesis glycolysis all the different cycles that you have in biochemistry so it's really different in terms of learning because I'm used to having multiple choice questions and I think that's the vast majority of uh, what people have in general in their undergrad or in North America, even in medical school. So it's different in a way that um, you're not going to be studying in the same way because when you're studying for MCQs, you really got to know all of the specific details, the smallest components, and sometimes you could get away with not understanding the material but still having the right answer just by sheer memorization but in medical school you can't do that you have so much material you're never gonna be able to remember everything there's just no way so it's a lot more based on comprehension and i think that's really important and that's really good because later on when you're, gonna be, when you're gonna become a clinician well you're gonna be able to explain to your patients better because you're gonna be trained throughout medical school to do that let's say in a way through these essay questions whereas through mcqs it's more obscure facts sometimes so I don't think it's as relevant but yeah if you've never done essays uh, like myself I've never had an essay exam well it's gonna be like a whole new world you know new adjustment period new everything new ways of studying so what I'm what I'm doing now is let's say I'm studying neurotransmission well instead of like memorizing all the like different steps or different neurotransmitters or stuff like that and what they do their properties whatever uh, I'm focused my study on like explaining the whole process like what happens first like is it the calcium channels is it the sodium channels is it the potassium channels that open up and then uh, how does the neurotransmitter exit the uh, in the synapse or something like that you know so it's different study methods uh, I did expect things to change but I didn't expect to have essay questions so yeah and then at number five of things that I didn't expect at medical school um, COVID-19, duh, <laughs> who could have expected to have COVID-19 during their medical studies? I mean, what I imagined when I was doing my undergrad, what medical school would be like, there was no COVID in the picture, there was no pandemic, there was no quarantine, there was no um, social distancing, there was no masks, there was no online lectures, everything was like in person, you know, very social, very active, very alive, I guess, I don't know, uh, it's just extremely different and I guess um, it had positive and negative impacts on my experience, of course, but I think I'm going to be making a, a whole different video only on COVID-19 and how it affected uh, my medical school life and life in general, I mean. So COVID-19 obviously had moved a lot of things online. So as I mentioned earlier, you had some new responsibilities in which you need to do those lectures on your own time. You need to like be more organized, prepare in advance in a different way uh, since you're online. and just a different atmosphere in general um, but yeah I never expected to have such circumstances during medical school 
So yeah, that's definitely something I've never expected. All right, so I think that sums it up pretty well. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please do so. It's at ov.med. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you didn't see my previous videos, I'm gonna put a link to them right here. So please go and check them out and see you in the next video.